Richard and I have not met as many times as many of you have met him, but we did meet at the alumni dinner, I think that you were at some years ago. And um, I thank you all for coming, but this is a, a really wonderful occasion that we'd like to honor Richard Williams. He's done so much for the department in so many ways. I'll just say a few things, and I'm going to open up the floor and, and let some other people have a chance as well. Um, he received his BS in electrical engineering here in, in 1980. That makes us almost the same age, but we can, we can talk about that another day. He's been the CEO. Oh, come on. You look much younger than me. He's been the CEO, uh, the president, the CTO, and so many different companies. Uh, Applied Biophotonics is, is one of them. The newest one. The newest one. He's been the CEO and CTO of, of Advanced Analogic. He, uh, uh, this is a company that he sold to Skyworks in 2012 for just a mere $300 million. So, so we're, we're really honored that, that, that one of our alums could do this. I think one of the really important things that he's been an EC alumni board member, and he's devoted his time and his energy to help promote the department. Uh, for many, many years in doing that. In fact, it's the maximum number of years. I'm not sure what the maximum is. What is the maximum number of years? I, I don't know, because I kept okay. coming, even <laughs> after, okay. the, well, after they retired. That's true. That's, just, that's just, true. And well, we especially, really, especially when they started yeah. serving Papa Duck. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I had my first alumni board meeting this fall, and it's, it's a really fun thing, and we really value the input of our members. So please come back. Oh, You always can come back. Anytime. I normally come in the fall. The spring one, the weather is... Uh, yeah. <laughs> he was the 2007 recipient of the Marsha Peterson Award, and this is a Peterman Award, and this is uh, for service uh, to the EC department. So this is another example of, of, of uh, all the service he's given. He, he probably actually knew Marsha Peterman. I did. Yeah. He did. <laughs> she was actually a good friend. Yeah. That's, 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 that's very, very nice. And um, I have to say, in particular, we're really uh, grateful and really honored uh, to have him here today to, to both announce and to thank him uh, for his uh, donation, his million dollar gift. So, so I mean, that's just incredible. And that's going to go both to a classroom in the new building and to a professorship. So thank you so much. We're, we really appreciate your support in so many ways uh, all through this. We'll have a formal ceremony uh, uh, and, 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 and recognition of this at the uh, alumni uh, meeting uh, uh, and uh, tomorrow, but we wanted to have this special reception in ECE really to honor you. Uh, so um, I'd really like to thank you. And I Who has a memory? We don't intend to embarrass you, but we're so thankful for you. Okay. So, Andreas, please. Thank you, Bill. And uh, thank you, Richard. Thank you very much. So, I was I was at an event in Chicago, and uh, I was the oldest person there. I think the average age was about 19. <laughs> and uh, one of the people in the audience asked me a very simple question: said, "Can you define innovation for me?" I said, you know, come on, he doesn't know the word innovation. And I said, what do you mean? He said, well, you know, you're the dean of engineering, and you know, you should be able to define the word innovation. So I gave a so-so answer to start with. But then I realized I didn't have to do much. And guess what I said? I said, well, I can define the word innovation by mentioning a name of an individual that I'm going to meet very soon. This is Richard Williams. <laughs> and it's really true. I mean, I was thinking about it. Anytime I, 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 have, I have met Richard many times now, when he comes back for the event in September, and the thing he always says is, uh, you know, why don't you guys do this this way? Why don't you guys do, do this that way? And so on and so on. We cannot do any of these things that he wants us to do because we are, we are a state institution. <laughs> We're working on that too, I I'm glad you are. I'm glad I am not. <laughs> but this is the kind of innovation. Innovation is when you look at the way things are and you say, why are this way? Why can they be that way? And I think that's what has defined Richard's life. I think he's still enjoying that. I think he's not done. And uh, uh, make sure anytime you talk with him, you give him only three minutes because he will just drive you out of your patience with all the things that go through his mind. 
he's, he's, he's a, I think he's a serial innovator. I think he's one of those people that um, can't stop, but always come up with the next idea. And I look forward to many more things to come from Rachel Williams. Congratulations. There's always something that matters, you know, before communications comes, before communications comes, what? How many students do we have? What is the most important, when you, when you become an EC student, what do they ask you? What is the most important topic you are taught in electrical and computer engineering? <laughs> okay, well, do you want me to tell you? <laughs> well, how many of you think it's electromagnetics? <laughs> now, let's not stop. How, many, <laughs> how many of you is, you think is power? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so let me ask a, a professor from the area of power and energy systems to say a few things about future. Phil. Thanks, Andreas. Hey, Richard. Um, Richard collared me in, what was it, about 1989. We spent about three hours over in, uh, at Zorba's at a table, you know, fooling around with lots of ideas. And uh, Richard loves to bounce ideas off things, and he and I have been bouncing ideas off of things forever. I think we've got a warm table at that Starbucks in Cupertino, right? Yes, probably. Um, and, and we have a ways to go. We're still working on that. But... Um, you know, Rich, Richard would never admit this. One of his claims to fame is he's really one of the inventors of the power MOSFET, or at least the one that we actually use in, in actual equipment. Um, and, well, he mentioned the phone. You know, there's probably, what, four or five AATI chips yes, in this phone. in every phone. Um, so, you know, the, the, the influence is pretty significant, and it's all ultimately tied to Illinois. You know, it's, it's all tied to John Bardeen. It's tied to all the things that we've done here. It's tied to the fact we have an instructional clean room and all the other things that have happened. And, and I might interject that actually I had a high school science project where I did a thermoelectrically cooled power semiconductor device. And I needed help with semiconductors. So I made a phone call and the professor invited me to come over. And I drove three hours and met with him. And it was John Bardeen. Uh -huh. wow. <laughs> John Bardeen helped me with, with my high school science project. By the way, I won an award at the International Science and Engineering Fair without uh, without that. <laughs> so, you know, and, and tomorrow we'll take you through the new building. I want you to see the, the, the room, okay? And we'll go from there. So, thanks for everything. It's been tremendous, and I look forward to bouncing lots more ideas. Absolutely. All right. Yeah, so I, I think... Um, my education here was um, amazing. Uh, it, it laid a fundamental framework of physics, <clears throat> material science, um, chemistry, but understanding the way nature works. And then on top of it, it put all this, now here's one way to use that information, here's another way, here's another way. And <clears throat> anytime you go into a new field, of course, there are people in that field who are experts and they're studying um, how to make things a little bit better. But when you go into something that nobody's ever done before, especially at the juxtaposition of different disciplines, then you can't stand on the shoulders of somebody before because they haven't done that before. And suddenly you're back down to your fundamental physics, your fundamental concepts of E and M uh, and and electronics and thermodynamics and then you go back down to the to 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 the core science that we kind of all hate those classes when we, we go through <laughs> right and mathematics as well and and it's then that you make great discoveries if you're in a field where you're an an expert you've risen to the top and you're now an expert in that field you're probably getting soft. Because now it's time to go do something that you're a little bit uncomfortable with, something that you don't know, and then take a chance to stretch out into a new area because that's when you'll find a new discovery that somebody hasn't thought of. Especially if you go into a field that nobody from your point of view ever goes into that field. 
And I think that that's really an amazing opportunity. And because we have such a strong fundamental education and then such a great applied uh, science, the combination of the both make, uh, makes us able to go do that. When I see a lot of Stanford grads, you know, very good grads, but they, can, they, they know how to do what they were trained to do. But when they go into something that they've never seen before, they, they, they feel uncomfortable. And that's why I think Intel higher, has more Illinois uh, grads on their payroll than any other in, uh, engineers. And that's quite an, a, a statement if you think about it. That this, this university is producing that kind of caliber. And I think we're going to continue to make revol revolutionary changes. And, and those revolutionary changes are going to be for the people in this room and your friends and uh, the, the students that are just now joining us uh, in their degree programs. So, so anyway, uh, people thank me, but actually, you know, I thank the university, and the university is made of people, it's made of you. So in, in the long run, I'm thanking all of you for, for making this possible generation after generation after generation. So thank you. I wish I had that video. For students, I imagine, but I mean also for me, and I think also for, the, also for all the faculty here. So thank you again very much. We're glad to have you back. We expect you to come back every fall. And give us a little advice. <laughs> so one last out. thing I'd like to say is, so I've started several more companies. And the last company, we, we pioneered power uh, electronics, power semiconductor, power management in every cell phone, every LED TV, uh, every time you walk, connect to the Wi-Fi, it's our voltage regulator that's powering the Broadcom chip. Uh, so, so all that power is uh, made the success of my last company, which is why I took the money from that and I earmarked it primarily for uh, power semiconductor electronics as, uh, as the investment in, in the university. But now I'm working on a, a biophotonic, uh, so a biotech mixed with electronics and uh, a packaging company that has material science in it. So if either of those companies or any of the other ones make it, then I will turn around and do it again and will invest in whatever that field is. So I will always give back to the, to the field where those advances occurred and you know in fact one of my companies is applied biophotonics and then I find out we actually have a biophotonics laboratory here so you know uh, for a long time. <laughs> yeah so so this is I think a, a very up-and-coming new field as well so so the message is that you know success I give back but I want to do it again if if we can uh, make the next company successful which I believe we will then we can have a, another party, and you'll all, you all be a little older. I'm not sure that biophotonics lab might be in this building, too, when it, uh, as it moves over here, when we move out. Okay, well. Uh, well, thank you so much. Okay, we really thank you. appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.